Hi, this is Dylan from Yo What's Up, and this is the review on the Yo-Yo Factory Fast 201. Uh, this is a really good uh, beginner yo-yo, because it's a responsive yo-yo. It's just, uh, you'll see how its response system works later, but it's, it's a different kind of yo-yo. It's a pretty good yo-yo. It's plastic. I personally liked it when I was a beginner. So if you're a beginner and you're willing to pay $10, because this is a $10 yo-yo, I really recommend this yo-yo. So first of all, its diameter is 2.23 inches. Its width is 1.39 inches. And its weight is 64 grams. So now let's open it up. Um, this, the inside of this yo-yo is really different. So, um, First of all, its bearing size is a size A bearing. As you can see, it's really small, this bearing. It's just a really small bearing. But the thing that makes this really unique is that it has fully active starbursts. And if you don't know what starbursts are, starbursts, if you see these kind of things, uh, these little things poking out right here, these are starbursts. There's the response system. Instead of response pads, they have these starbursts, which makes it very aggressive when you pull it back up right here so they have it on both sides um, these starbursts they um, are like they're really good for uh, beginners when they yo-yo because it's just like you pull it up and it comes right back up you, you don't really need any lubrication to make it kind of work more responsive it's just very responsive on its own because of the starburst and these starbursts they're um, as I said they're fully active so they're completely sticking out all the way because there's a yo-yo called the Speed Dial by Yo-Yo Factory, and it has a kind of dial on the side which you could turn it to um, change the starburst. So if you want it to be like less responsive, you make the starburst go in. If you want it to be more responsive, you put the um, screw it the other way to make the starburst come out more. So that's the starburst part of it, um, and it's just a really good beginner yo-yo as I said and a cool thing about it is that if you want it to be less responsive well this yo-yo does not become fully unresponsive so if you want it to be less responsive you make keep it loose but not so loose that it'll fall apart but like kind of snug because this thing it keeps on just tightening for a while but um, you want it to be kind of snug but, uh, and like this it could be loose and it's a lot less responsive than when you tighten it up a lot you could tighten it up and if you see how smaller the gap is it makes it a lot more responsive and sometimes if you do it too tight it gets too responsive and it doesn't sleep but you just have to find what you like the most by screwing it and unscrewing it to see how good you could get it so this is the review on the Yo-Yo Factory Fast 201 um, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, and if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching.